you're musky fly fishing, you have to go in knowing the chances are you're probably not going to get one. You might see a few, but it's just a good time to be outside. Today we didn't see a single person all day. We were on the water for at least nine hours and didn't see anybody. So can't beat it. Fish is a bonus. Yep. Pretty shallow. Yeah, but it's deep here. Yep. They're, they kind of stand out because they're a little bit lighter. So you'll be seeing the water and then you'll see kind of like a light colored log behind it. Yeah, I think I noticed his fin first. A lot of times, yeah, you'll see their fin or their nose. Right about man, right there. Come on, come back. Yeah, come on, baby. I like to eat though. Right when I went into the turn, he, he feels. I've also noticed a lot of times when we interact with one, they slide down. So there's a decent chance he's sitting like below the tree. Below the tree. Okay. I think if you go straight, you're good. Just a little bit shallower than I would like, but it's certainly not too shallow. Yeah. Good old. Put the camera. Quite on yours. It and he was just on it right away um, and then <laughs> tried to get the net out and get a net job right away and um, went into the rapids and it, it, it became a little bit of a fun steer but made it happen took off like a steelhead yeah got him in the net there's been a lot of more times than not you don't land a fish so a day like today when you get a fish it's really nice because a lot of times you know you'll be out several floats in a row and you might not even see fish so that's musky fishing you know and when we do with the flies it, it makes it even a little bit more challenging we're kind of you know giving ourselves almost a disadvantage but when it does happen it, it makes it all worth it and today it happened for jason and it makes up for all those hours that we fished and, and, and not happening so.